what about multimodal LLMs? How I saw you you shared a recent blog post on those. So yeah, what about those? How different are they from traditional LLMs? Yeah, they are also pretty interesting. It's some something I'm currently just getting into uh, because yeah, right now there are a bunch of interesting multi-model models that have been released. For example, the Llama 3.2 uh, models, they come also in a, I think it was 11 billion and might have been 90 billion parameter sizes. So there are a bunch of interesting models, but of course there's uh, there are lots of models. I think yeah, in my blog post, I there was like, I think 10 papers I reviewed on multi-model <laughs> models that were just in the last two months. So it's like uh, crazy, like the explosion. And uh, yeah, they are interesting because now you add another dimension, you add uh, images or audio or sometimes video to it. Um, so you can answer questions about images. Some can even generate images and um, how they work, uh, that's an interesting question because, yeah, there are, I would say, two different techniques uh, or two main techniques. And one is essentially just feeding the input images together with the input text as input to the LLM. And the other is at the um, multi-attention layer, which becomes the cross-attention layer. So the, the first method I mentioned, what you do is essentially you take an image and then you chop it into patches. And then each patch goes through an image decoder, which is usually a vision transformer. Or if you have heard of Clip, uh, Clip was usually a popular yeah. model. Now it's um, SIGLIP. But they are like it's just an image encoder, basically, like, or just like, a, a, let's say, a, an internal, uh, external module, like something that takes an image and produces an, a, an embedding vector. It could also be a CNN, where you, uh, if you have a classifier LLM, uh, CNN, you can just chop off the classification head and take the embeddings, and, and that would be an image encoder then, where you encode an image into a vector. And then usually you add a projection layer, uh, which is just a linear layer. It's a fancy word for a linear layer or multilayer perceptron that takes this embedding and projects it into a space that has the same dimension as the input tokens of the LLM. Okay. And so, um, if you ha so to the LLM, the embedded image patch basically looks like a text token that has been transformed to a vector um, embedding vector. So in that sense, it's relatively simple. So you just yeah uh, apply this image encoder to the patches and then concatenate it with a text and then yeah just train your regular LLM. You don't even have to change the architecture at all. It's the same uh, decoder architecture. The other method um, is a bit trickier. So the other method you have to modify the attention mechanism. So you change it from multi-head attention to cross attention. But uh, even that is, I would say, I mean, it's a bit more coding work because you have to change the architecture a bit, um, but it's not a, uh, I would say, super revolutionary change because this is actually going back to the original transformer architecture, the one uh, in the attentions all you need paper, which already had cross attention because uh, back then you had an encoder and a decoder. And to connect the encoder output to the decoder, you had a cross attention module. And this is exactly the same concept. So, but except of feeding it um, encoded embeddings from the encoder module, you now have the encoded embeddings from the image encoder essentially. But yeah, fundamentally the same idea as in the or original transformer basically. So it's almost back to the roots, yeah. So you either pass everything into an LLM together like concatenated um, mm -hmm. and there is a some kind of vision transformer earlier in the process that transforms the image into tokens or you mm -hmm. pass everything together into the attention layer is that is that is that what you yep, mentioned that is uh, so that is correct. So in a sense, either you pass it as, uh, at the input level mm -hmm. or you pass, um, like you would ha have regularly the um, embeddings into the attention layer from the text part and the image part. So it's just where you pass in these encoded images, the, okay. the position in the network. Either it enters at the attention level or it enters as the input. Okay. But cool. yeah, that, that's fundamentally it. And honestly... Uh, besides that, of course, you have to make sure you train it on image text data and so forth. But fundamentally, um, it's not that complicated, to be honest. Like it's uh, it's still an LLM that works kind of like the same way. The the magic is really how you, yeah, that not even how, but that you convert image tokens into embedding vectors uh, with an image encoder. That that's basically the whole um, trick. Yeah. yeah. 